Good afternoon, everybody. I wanted to give you an update on some things going on on Mellon Hill. So if you remember from last year, this area over here are called Mellon Hill. Mellon Hill has moved slightly to this area on the other side of my shed. I'm going to use these two galvanized um, planters to grow the majority of my melons. Got a passion flower um, right there. That's kind of fun. We'll see what that looks like. It's got some beautiful flowers that I am looking forward to. And another pot on the other side, another blue pot on the other side that I'm not sure what I'm gonna plant there yet, but I have lots of seedlings that need a home, so we will see what I plant there. This is the order that I think I'm gonna grow my melons in this year. We'll start with some all sweet, crimson sweet, sugar babies, Kajari melons, more Kajari melons, cantaloupe, and honeydew. And over here, I think I may grow loofah. Day on this side of the yard where our job is to plant some sweet corn. So I like to get my soil amended or topped off or what have you um, a few days before planting if possible. It's not necessary, it's just something that I like to do. So I'm going to plant sweet corn here. I may use about half of this bed because uh, my children are strange and they don't actually like corn. So it's primarily for my husband and I. Um, so half of the bed is plenty. And I think I'll use the other half for pole beans. So that is the plan. And this year, um, our corn of choice is going to be Devotion, which is a super sweet hybrid variety from Haas Tools. So, like I said, I amended this bed a few days ago, and now I'm just wetting it prior to putting the seeds in. So it's a kind of a dry day. It may rain tomorrow. I always like to have this urge to put seeds in the ground right before it rains. I'm not sure what that's all about. Maybe it's just the gardener in my soul. I'm going to be using Haas Tools Devotion Sweet Corn uh, this, for this early planting. It is a super sweet variety, a hybrid, and I haven't used this one yet, so I'm looking forward to it. This is what this variety looks like. It's my understanding that most super sweet varieties look a little bit wrinkly like this. Okay, I lost my little um, tool that I use to make holes, so I'm just using my, <laughs> my garden marker. Uh, I decided to use the um, Devotion variety this year because it just seemed appropriate. My garden is always a display of devotion for me, devotion to the Lord and thankfulness for the bounty that he gives us through our garden. And this year more than ever, I am appreciative and thankful and devotion just seemed like the right choice. Last year I bought, I went a little corn crazy um, buying my corn seeds, knowing that I don't plant more than two varieties at a time. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I just, like I said, I went a little corn crazy. So I have uh, several varieties from Haas that I haven't used yet. And... Devotion is one of those, and I think later in the summer I will do some um, Silver King, and that should be good. Just kind of mapping out my little grid.
Looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six rows of one, two, three, four, five. 30 seeds. Okay. Let's get planting. Just put them in the holes. Go around the other side and make sure I've gotten whole I've gotten um, corn in each hole. Looks like I missed one. Good thing I checked. Okay, and now we'll cover them up. This is the reason why I have um, three foot beds is because I have rather short arms. So the traditional four foot bed is a little tricky for me. So I uh, opted to go with three foot beds. Got all of our squashes planted where we had melons last year. So they're sort of related, somewhat like Melon Hill. So we will, I'll do a um, full garden tour soon. But that is a little glimpse of what's going on on this side of the yard this year. Oh, don't forget, most important, our label. There we go. Okay, we've got them all in. A little extra water. I'm giving it a, I gave it a nice big drink of water because it is going to be a warm day today don't worry I will go and pick those that weed and that one <laughs> I know it's driving you guys crazy but until next time you guys go and have a beautiful day too bye bye everybody